G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines on a pretty special day. This is the uh, the first day we've had on the water, this Haynes Signature BRX Bower Rider boat. I'm here with Ty Hawkins from uh, from Suzuki and Haynes Signature. And Ty, uh, you've probably got the best job in the world driving a flash bait like this around the jumping pin on uh, on a spring day in Brisbane. Does it get any better? Oh mate, it's, um, it's a pretty nice day in the office really. Um, it's the second day the boat's been on the water, so it's um, yeah, it's awesome. Um, now, um, we don't usually test, you know, full-on recreational bow riders like this at Fishing Monthly Magazine, but I'll tell you what makes the difference for me on this boat is this, um, the digital control 200 horsepower Suzuki. You can hardly hear it going, can you? As you can see, you, know, you could probably might not be able to hear it, but the engine's actually running at the moment, and with the fly-by-wire model engine shifting and manoeuvring is just, it's, it's faultless, it's, it's very simple. Um, one of the things also that uh, the Suzuki outboards are famous for is fuel economy. We've taken this for a bit of a run this morning and I've got some figures for us here. We're getting uh, between 2.1 and 2.2 kilometres per litre of fuel burn. Now this is, this is a big boat, this is a 5.8 metre boat. Um, it cruises up to uh, 82 kilometres an hour but it's those cruising speeds between say 30 and 55 kilometres an hour, ridiculously good fuel economy isn't it? Yeah that's right, I mean we've been out in this boat all morning we've done about 60 kilometres in it and we've burnt under 25 litres so it's they, they run on nothing that's the, the lean burn is where you get the fuel economy from. Now uh, with a 140 litre fuel tank in this boat that gives a theoretical range of nearly 300 kilometres now that's a lot of uh, skiing or wakeboarding for a day but it's also a lot of fishing range. Um, guys use this hull for fishing don't they and it's very sea capable. Yeah definitely I mean the hull is still based off of what our you know our signature boats our hulls are you know Obviously we um, are fishing boats, but um, yeah, definitely it's, uh, this hull is capable of going offshore. Um, the other thing I noticed about this hull, and I've been in a lot of fiberglass boats over the years, how quiet this thing rides, like there's no hull slap on it. What's going on under the deck here to keep it so quiet? Secrets. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, um, it's, they're built very well, you know, like I've been in just about every single one of our signature boats and they're all very quiet, you know, completely different ride to an alloy boat. Yes. Um, now, take us through some of the this boat. I'm, I'm no expert on uh, on recreational boats like this. Tell us some of the features. Um, so this one um, is based off of our original 580, um, but we've upgraded it to a new U-shaped seating lounge. Um, this one's got a big stereo package in it. It's got six speakers and a subwoofer, um, so it's a very very um, awesome sound system. Uh, rear lounge with a built-in esky down the back there. Um, upgraded. Uh, like I said, JB Audio, Hi-Fi, uh, fly-by-wire model, so this one's got all the, the works and jerks in it. It's um, definitely the, the boat to go if you're into skiing or wakeboarding. And I, I noticed the, uh, you said it's got a, uh, it's like got a modular second console on this side. You could have this style um, sit back seat or you could have a, a console there. Yeah, that's right. So, um, like as you see here, this, this whole module comes out and you can replace it with a normal, you know, forward driving seat like this there. That will swing around. You can still face backwards and, and you know, check the skiers out. But this configuration, I had eight people in this boat last weekend and it was perfect. There was still plenty of room. You know, no one was standing over each other. So it was, it was perfect. Um, now, take us through uh, uh, what it comes on a twin axle trailer, I assume, uh, and and what and what sort of uh, responses did you get to the boat show when it launched? Yeah, it was great. Um, we, we've put a few little pictures here and there on social media, and um, this boat's actually already sold. You know, so we released it last week, and it's sold straight away. So it's um, people love it. So we're already. In, in plans for building the next one, so they'll they'll sell like hotcakes. Now tell us uh, one final thing: if I'm going to save my money up, how much I'm going to need to drive this fella away? Um, <laughs> yeah, eighty-eight thousand. But this one, this pack, this is how this one's packaged with the upgraded stereo system, um, the fly-by-wire DF200 AP. Yep. You know, so the base package is a little bit cheaper than that. So there you go, uh, some great technology coming out of the factory in Brisbane and some great technology coming out of the Japanese factory where these Suzuki motors come from. I know Suzuki are a favourite of fishermen um, and I'm sure any fisherman with one of those uh, fly-by-wire 200s is not going to be disappointed. Uh, what website for more information about the boat and the motor? Uh, so the engine, look at uh, suzukimarine.com.au and the hull, look up signatureboats.com.au. There you go, so uh, Steve Morgan for Fishing Monthly Magazines checking out, about to go and uh, have some fun on the broadwater. Thank <laughs> you.